Pete, thanks. A new on a woman, she spends all her time working to reform Hawaii's criminal justice system. Kat Brady founded a nonprofit back in 1998 called Community Alliance on Prisons, or CAP. Our Diana Code tells us how civic advocacy keeps Brady aging well. So there's a variety of reasons that people miss court dates, and they are not always intentional. <laughs> That's Kat Brady testifying at the legislature. Brady wants more people to get involved in civic affairs. She tries to reform public policy through her nonprofit, Community Alliance on Prisons. She says she's always been a social rights activist, but focused on crime and punishment in the 90s. What do you want the general public to know about incarceration? Well, I guess the harm that it causes and that it should be the absolute last resort and it should never be the first option to just get rid of somebody. You need to really understand something is going on and how do we deal with that as a family. Brady says it's important to find other ways to rehabilitate offenders. Why is it worth it? Because we're harming people and most people are gonna come back to the community. So how do we want them to return? At 74, she isn't slowing down. This session, she's pushing a bill she helped draft to reform solitary confinement. She says the way it's set up now is considered torture. The UN has said it's torture. It is, it doesn't really do anything for people except make them bitter and angry, which is generally not good in a crowded facility. <laughs> Brady reflects on the personalities and levels of resilience she's seen over the decades. And it's the exuberance of the human spirit that keeps me going. Kat is really energized working for the community and advocating for the community at the legislature. And she is um, doing a fantastic job. She has this message to viewers. Be passionate about who you are. You're the only one. <laughs> There's not another. Having passion for your work at any age will help create a better society for the next generation. Diana Coe, Island News.